Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I have good news, and it seems that a Moment 5 feature that was expected to start rolling out with the Moment 5 feature update next week for Windows 11 has arrived early in the stable version for Windows 11. And I noticed today in my region on the 22nd of February that with the latest Windows Web Experience Pack update from the Microsoft Store, that we now finally have the ability to disable the Microsoft News Feed on the widgets board, which allows you now to turn off the Microsoft Start News Feed on the board's settings page, which means now you can choose to use a widgets only layout on the board for the first time. And this has been a long time coming and has actually been a highly requested feature. And for some reason, Microsoft has decided to push this out with the latest Windows Web Experience pack update. And if we head over to the widgets board, we can see now that we have a settings toggle and our profile which is new and if we click on the settings we have a new settings page for the widget board where we can now discover our new widgets and we can personalize our Microsoft Start newsfeed with this new shortcut which will take us over to Microsoft Edge. We can manage taskbar notifications um, from your widgets board and feeds and these are two new settings which now show notification badges on the taskbar and you can now show announcements on the taskbar as well. And I have noticed today that I had um, received a little badge on my widget to the bottom left of my taskbar. And I had already received a newsfeed notification, which is a banner that will be displayed across the top here. So that's already working as well. So I'm glad we have the ability to be able to turn both of those features off. And heading back to the settings, yeah, we can change our language for the widgets. And... This is our old setting, but they've integrated it now into the new settings. You can open widgets board on hover. And the big one here, as you can see, is now you can show or hide feeds. And if you click on that, you can now turn off Microsoft Start finally. And there we go. And it says widgets board needs to close to make this change. And we turn that off. And now you can see a couple of changes. Let's just try and refresh that. And there we go. So now we have a widgets only layout and the news feed has been removed and I actually think that is a nice move in the right direction. It um, makes the, it decreases the size of the widget board which I enjoy and now we can see the widgets that we want on the widget board and not a news feed if you are not into getting a whole lot of news kind of pushed into your face on the widgets board and yeah we can obviously um, change and add different widgets to, to your own personal choice and preference. That's an existing setting. And if we go back to settings, um, I have noticed though that you can head back and if we click on toggle on where widget board needs to close to make this change again, we turn that on, it will now apply the news feed once again. And uh, um, I have noticed though that this um, struggles to kind of apply the news feed. I have um, noticed that I had to do a and do a system restart to get my news feed back. But nonetheless, just putting it out there, and as you can see, although it's not showing, we can see that the widgets here are to the left once again, and the news feed is here to the right. And for some reason, um, on my device, this needs a system restart. But nonetheless, the big one here is that you now have the ability to finally disable the Microsoft um, Start News Feed on the widgets board, and that rolled out with the latest Windows Web Experience Pack. And for some reason, as mentioned, Microsoft pushed that out. That was expected to roll out with the Moment 5 feature update starting next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.